Everybody's running and the world is yeah, so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some brains. Better hurry up, just got two days. Playing games, hanging out, going closer, then we're down. Trash. All right, here's what's up. I've been invited to a costume party by Bree and Colby. <laughs> yeah, the cool kids. If you don't believe me, just check out this instant replay. Hey, blonde kid. We want to invite you to a costume party. Huh? Yeah, but just you. We're not inviting your friends. Huh? Here's a flyer. Sunday night. Costume. Be there. Uh. Huh? Uh, obviously, I can't tell Carver, Laura, and Tish about this. It'd hurt their feelings if they knew I'm cooler than them. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not safe to talk here. Come on. In here. Okay, so I gotta put a costume together without the guys noticing what I'm doing. Normally, that'd be easy, but last weekend, we all had family stuff to do, so we swore we'd spend this whole weekend together. I'm gonna have to sneak off and find a costume somehow. Hey! What are you guys doing here? Well, we couldn't find you after school, so we came looking for you. Oh. Well, I just came home to put on my new shirt. That's an old shirt. No, it just looks like one of my old shirts. But it's got, like, stains and junk. That's very in right now. No, it isn't. I know what's in with shirts, and that is not it. Enough with the shirt. Why are you all so obsessed with my shirt? Let's talk about someone else's shirt for a while, huh? Or better yet, let's not talk about shirts ever again. So, who wants to go to the mall? Bathroom break. Be right back. Can I have a burger? Knock yourself out. Alien, alligator, angel, ant, ant eater, tish. Tish! I'm not here! This isn't me! I'm not looking for a costume! Neither am I! Wait... A costume? Hey! You got invited to the party, too? You got invited? Bree and Colby said they didn't invite my friends. Well, I guess they just meant Lauren Carver. Right. <gasps> hey! We can help each other find costumes! Sure! Oh, but we can't let Lauren Carver know. Ugh, of course not. It would make him feel bad. Hey, guys. What would make us feel bad? If you knew the outrageous prices they charge here. Outrageous! I mean, did you look at this wig. They want 20 bucks for this. Why do you want a clown wig, T? Well, my cousin in Kentucky, he, uh, he's been collecting clown wigs ever since his father was injured in a freak circus accident. I just thought I'd pick him up one, and, and Tish came along to help me pick out the best color. P pick out best? You have a cousin in Kentucky? Here you are, and I'll have you know $20 is an outrageous price for this item. But it only costs $9. Take your filthy money! And I had 
to give the guy 20 bucks. So I was wondering if I could maybe get an advance on my allowance. It's nice that you don't want to hurt Lauren Carver's feelings, but I found that it usually means trouble anytime you have to make up a story involving a freak circus accident. Don't worry, I've got it totally under control. Honey, I think it's a bad idea to lie to your friends, no matter how good your intentions are. I'm not so much lying to them as just not telling them the truth. Okay, don't criticize my logic, and I won't complain about your kelp ravioli. <laughs> oh. Deal. There's a place called Tony's Discount Costumporium. You do the costume shopping, and I'll cover for you if they notice you're gone. Got it! A popular dessert in many Middle Eastern countries. There are as many halva recipes as there are halva makers. But they all agree on one thing. There's no such thing as too sweet. Dude, this stuff's like sticking a sugar fire hose in your mouth. Yeah, gosh, it's so sweet. It's making Tish kind of sick. Oh, yeah, bathroom kind of sick. Tony knows what you need, my friend. A legionnaire's breastplate and maybe a feather boar. These are very nice on you. I was thinking of going as Isadora Duncan. You know what is very nice on you, my friend? A legionnaire's breastplate and a feather boar. You don't have anything else, do ya? I have my dignity. Okay, where's Tish anyway? It's been like half an hour. I think we should go check up on her. Uh, no, 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 she's fine. She just, uh, went over to the bathrooms in the Arboretum. There's no bathrooms in the Arboretum. They just built some. The real nice ones. Maybe we should go check them out. No! You can't go in. There are special exclusive bathrooms. Tish can go in because she's a member. Why would Tish just... Oh, Tish, Tish, Tish. All you talk about is Tish. What about me, huh? Don't you care about me? Am I nothing to you? Hey, guys. Sorry I was gone so long. I, uh, went to get a soda. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said she... Oh, Tish. Oh, you were talking about Tish? I thought you said... Taj. Taj? Yeah, you know, Taj. In the homeroom. She sits way in the back, has a mole, wears a shirt with a thing on it and the, and the stuff in her hair and... So, who wants more halva? Oh, man. I thought today would never end. I've never made up so many excuses in my life. I got lots of stuff, especially at that thrift store by the arcade and the souvenir place on the beach. See here, a beach ball, umbrella, rubber chicken, bag full of ping pong balls. Um, how is this a costume? Granted, we'll have to get a little creative. Michelangelo couldn't get this creative. Hey, Laura, where are all your brothers anyway? Jake's at high life practice, and Neil's at football practice, and Bill's at lacrosse Short practice. version, please. Um, they're at practice? Thank you. Okay, idea. Laura's brothers have a ton of old busted sports equipment in the garage. Right. Good costume material. I'm on it. Well, I guess I'll just go to the bathroom. Surprisingly, the law no longer requires that you announce it to everyone. inflatable pool chairs from the garage? Anyone want anything? Yes! I mean, no! I mean, let me get it for you. I can? No! I'll do it. I'm shorter than you are, so I'll waste less oxygen. Uh-huh. Seriously, don't use that pool chair. Medical experts have determined that inflatable things may be dangerous to your health. Here we go, Lore! We're about to enter the garage, Lore! What's up with you? Are you, like, trying to hide something? I can explain nothing. 
I can explain nothing, but why bother? Because it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. I really think you should just tell Lauren Carver the truth. Uh, no, no, no. It's much easier this way. And Jamie's at hockey practice, and Danny's at Sorry, it took so long. It's okay. Tino told us everything. Tino, you... That's right. I told them about your mysterious secret illness. Mysterious secret illness? Right. The mysterious illness from your parents' homeland. I don't blame you for not telling us, Tish. It's the most embarrassing thing I've ever heard. I had to tell them something. Oh, man, what a pile of junk. It's okay. We're smart and resourceful. I'm sure we can make great costumes out of this stuff. We stink. Yep. What are you going to say when people ask you what you're supposed to be? Well, I'm supposed to be... in costume. We stink. Yep. Well, this is the place. Okay, here we go. Ah! Ah! We're not here. This isn't us. We're not in costume. This isn't us either. What party? We don't know anything about a party. Wait a second. You guys got invited too? Yeah. But Bree and Colby told us they didn't invite you. Hey, why are you guys in costume? What? I told you they'd fall for the costume thing. Kill. <laughs> you guys think you're so cool, but you're pathetic, you know that? Just pathetic. So, does this mean we're not going to the party? Just check it. If you guys had just told us you were invited, we could have let you know it wasn't a costume party. Hey, you didn't tell us either. We didn't want you to feel bad because we're cooler than you. From now on, let's just be honest with each other all the time, even if it might hurt someone's feelings a little, okay? Okay. Sounds good. You got it. I don't like your pants. Uh, yeah. Might take a little practice to learn exactly when to be honest and when to keep your mouth shut. What if it helps us avoid showing up in stupid costumes and being laughed at by rooms full of kids? I say it's worth it. That was a joke about the pants, man. Sure it was, Carver. Okay, later days. No, really. <laughs>